This is not a Sunday that Faze would ever want to see. After yesterday's stunning performance, they had, I think it was out of five games. Two second places, a first of four, so top four out of five certainly ain't bad. They had kills to boot on that as well. I'll, um, I'll hold for a second as... Genji want to try and make something of this one? Oh, they're just going to back off. Okay, so they will maybe just see PO randomly driving up with a shotgun and just blasting people away like yesterday, same scenario. The vehicles this time will go the side of day trade. Genji will certainly be keeping track of them. This is a nice place to be keeping track of as well, especially if you can get the bridge and go over. To get across to the island, um, or they're just kind of pulling up towards the bridge, potentially, we'll have to keep our eyes on it. Liquid on the move as well, and it looks like Genji are over here very early on. Pio's got himself a gun. He's got himself bigger than the shotgun. It is going to be the barrel. It is a mini. This is pretty much oh, on span. point, but Clib! Oh, my word. Okay, hold on. What? Liquid somehow dispatch of Gen G thus far. Pio's been flushed. There was a knock on the other side. Liquid are not without casualties themselves. But FaZe have made it through. They've somehow got their fight building as well towards TSG on the other bridge. But this battle is bloody on this side. Inonix flushed. We are seeing the Liquid are maintaining their numbers. Jeems is not flushed yet. He is not. That looks like it's a flush waiting to happen. Loki's done for. And now Ether is pretty baffled how this happened so swiftly. We mentioned earlier that Zenith were already here. So kickstart shots will send them into the fray. Esther, how badly Ooh. are you going to do them? He knocks two. I mean, that okay, was pretty good. That was pretty good. Faze continued that journey on the Eastern Bridge, of course. They won went down towards kind of the police station area-ish, the kind of radio tower sort of hillside. Um, on that marker, at least for now, Oath are pretty established on this. But keep in mind, yes, they may be looking towards Fuzzface and 8C. Pack caps, that's a... That's a lovely little spray. You take those. Um, you may not get them every time, but you certainly take them when you do. And shoot to kill are going to lay some shots in towards Mob Circuit Gaming. But Ooh. as it stands, it looks like Pack Caps is very much keeping FaZe humbled. But Balefrost just got knocked over by Sneakers. So not sure what's happening there. Oath maybe just trying to quickly adjust to this. And you are seeing Zenith dive in on these kills. Roth's just nabbed one towards 8C. And FaZe made a wonderful early move. But it feels like they've been halted in their tracks so early on. Yeah, it's a super, a super sketchy res. Uh, please don't tell me they're going to go for it again. Like, there's no hardcover there. You've only got a very small buggy. They're terrible at the best of times, but to commit a player to that, you also saw Zenith came in with a steal. Oh, so this was the ones, yeah, so they did just pull up on it. Pain just stood there? You kind of, okay, you, you fancy it, fair play. Ooh, it felt like sketchy they got in that. Yeah, it and way off in the distance. Are we on a different, like, game here? Is this a different circle? I mean, why is there a fight on Everest when we have a military island? I do not know, but Lin Shun and Besto in a bit of a battle up here. They do have Lorena and Kemba as well for either side, both kind of opting to stick around. Lin Shun, the nade just bounces a little further away than he'd potentially like, but a lovely off angle. Besto couldn't predict it. And this is, again, disastrous for Na'Vi. They've not... The best of times, either way. Tiamba should now pull away from it. Go to where we are alive, so just, you know, count yourself lucky. For ends, there's an opportunity to maybe camp the bridge and take the last few players there. VP are going to be towards the north, and VP was like, well, we'll stay here now. They don't Ooh, get it. Are we getting a radio but, tower end? My word, that's a lot of water and... Boat. Get to the what boat. What timeline is this? <gasps> oh, made it. This is fine. Don't let this go, Jack. This is fine. Um, yeah, I mean, they're going to go for a ride. I don't know what's happening. I do not know what's happening. Even does now be. What, seven <laughs> seconds. Yeah, I mean, this is just something else, isn't it? All right, let's see. Traditionally, a radio tower finish. Let's see what we're going to have. What does it indicate? Haw! Oh. Do you know what? Now they actually stay safe because of that big circle. Brain, big brain. The straight up send. Not loving it, but Roth going to have to evacuate right about now. Uh, Rustamar on the chase. Diggory out and about. Tixu's there. No, uh, we've had some friendly fire. Tixu just sprays into Diggory. He walks kind of into the line of fire, which isn't going to go so well. But now Zenith have some problems. Oath take over the hillside, and everything's going to get messy, Rich. I want to get involved in this one. Fizz, Uber's there. Damaged. Pushback for now. With two of them pushing on the on the far side as well. Tiamba also there. Like, this is, this is getting messy. There is no line to play at all, and... Liquid, unfortunately, are getting caught in the midst of it. 
Yeah, it, it, they, they've tried to get down the road, it looks like, and they might have to do the full send that Ents did, but... That you now have the hillsides taken. You can't fortify any kind of stance there. Uber and Gustav said there's two of them still standing. They're, they're making it work. Two players of day trade will fall. You can see the backfill now coming in from Tiamba, though. They understand the lay of the land. They understand what's going down. Afrika Freaks out of Nova and Faze. Well, it's a third low placement. Second time 15th in a row. Rather unfortunate. Ibi trying to make something happen here for Team Liquid. They've taken residency in an old compound that I believe their way down because uh, you mentioned we don't really know where they're going to go. But in theory, the circles do have to come down from certain inaccessible terrain areas. There's certain cliff faces up on the aerial tower. That I'm glad and you touched on Afrika Freaks. Yeah. I think a freak freaks kind of just move forward. I'd be, I'd be worried if they went for a full send. If they go flying down that hill, they're dead. Shoot killer. Uh, well, they're going for a full send. Be, he should be dead. Uh, okay. It looks like a freak freaks are full sending, and we're seeing shoot to kill full sending. Shoot to kill going for Zen, uh, Zenith, and it looks like a freak freaks heading towards Liquid's compound or what remains of it, which is Ibi, but everyone can see this compound. Um, Poonage and Shinboy are the only two in here. The other two are over towards the petrol station. Now, Freak Freaks need to make this clean. Ibi, Ibi should not be able to do this much damage already. He's got help coming in from Diggory. Back into the bathroom we go. Just, you know, lock the door. No worries. I'm fine in here, boys. Ignore the mess. Um, and the Freak Freaks are somewhat that mess right now. Two players are flushed. And that's because Vision, everyone has it. Diggory. Assume that we're going to put them onto the, the hill and maybe play the back of them. There's a couple of trees that you could just have fortified something with the cars. So to see them go full send, blind full send, because remember they were downwind of that, is yeah. an interesting play to say the least. Um, hasn't paid off whatsoever. Ibby's picked up a, a free frag point, so congratulations Ibby for that one. Staying alive is more than justified, especially because he is plumb center of the circle. He's in a cracky position. Those nades shouldn't hit downwind because all those players you can see on the outlines are inside buildings. Ortho, time to work for your money. However, T1 in a oh, very oh, tricky oh, prediction. Oh, oh, <gasps> it's burnt three of them. Oh, oh my God, Shinboy. What have you done? How has this happened? STK, they've been burnt away. Smokes are down. Now you need to hold on for dear life because we have to anticipate. Zenith make a push on this. Surely they clear them out. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, Zenith should push this, and they are. You can see Shinboy's already out from the top side, just going to work it. Oh, it's all free kills until that one. Suddenly, he gets flushed. Oh my god, what has just happened? He's He, he went for the flushes. The he got tunnel visioned. He wanted it. He wanted the kills, and then waiting in the corner. The kill have outlived them on that side. Even with three kills coming in the back of that, but now Othram up above. Do clear out T1, but I cannot believe... We just saw that happen, and Shinboy and Poonage, I'm sure, will be kicking themselves for that. STK still, no rest for the Wicked. They have to move. The rest of Zen is standing in their way over on the petrol station. The smokes will hide them for now, but How through the work? mists. It's not fire this time round. It is the smoke. Can they finally dispatch STK? They've been such a new nuisance. Luke 12 oh. through the smoke. First one to open. Kickstart. Roth is like, my god. How do we throw this so badly? What do we do, boys? If he has any utility, now's the time to get it done. Oath, time to try and make their move. Navi goes down. Diggory sends them packing. Excuse me, it was Lou VP over by the opposing side. Ents are actually going toe to toe to Oath this time round. STK shouldn't be alive in this scenario. So, like, I don't know. That is, that is wild. It is, but in review, also. <laughs> I mean, Oath. <laughs> Take this fight cleanly. Maybe there's a conversation to be had. But we already seen the nades come through. Batulin's trying to hold that ridge line, but uh, a bit of his vision's occluded. Yeah, and the timing's atrocious for him. As soon as he turns, and the nade came through from JN as well. Spyro's been called off. The spray comes out, and Virtus Pro looked like they've been torn asunder already. This is not a pretty fight. An LG Divine are making this hurt. Another good nade could get this one. That's going to mm, just bounce a little too far away. But Shooter Kill's getting a little interested here. I'd certainly be feeling feisty if I was STK. You know you can backfill this fight quite easily. LG Diviner currently laying down the hammer to VP. Oh, oh no, that's not good. You had him dead to rights, but all of a sudden, Hyruzen turns around, STK's here. Nail in the coffin, job done. LG Divine gone, seven position. Do STK keep pushing? They have to understand that VP is surely in a weakened position. 
I mean, shoot to kill are in frag out mode, right? Like, this is their game to just try and get the kills. The molly goes again, and we know that, Oof. hey, look, they've been born in those flames, and the nades are good. Lou on the trade, though, does find on Sybil, so it's not clean just yet. Heroes in on the low ground. They pinched this really well, and how is Alo alive at this point? That HP is so low. It looks like one HP here, and it's going to be a quick pickup for Lou in the end. Full 360 vision of the entire map and what's going on. TSG will hold Ents. At least back for a moment. The slow progressive crawl will come out from Ents towards the shack, and Ibby is ready to receive this. Takes you Any signs of foot? Right He's got it. He sh <gasps> That's his own Molly. I'm pretty dead. sure that's a team Molly. This is not good for Ents. It's not as clean as they wanted. Ibby might get naded, but he'll push on that. Here we go. There it goes. Ibby maybe missed the sound cue or just simply accepted fate. And at that point, there's not much more to be done. Luz just got himself an Orm. Wherever this circle goes, they will still have a great position. Okay, it's gone south. Their position in the north is still okay. The problem for VP is that is not a workable hillside for them anymore. And too many eyes will be turned on them as soon as they crest this hill. Unless Lou cracks open ways forward. Oh, he missed the player. He almost got the spot then on towards... Here's the MK MK14 player on the side, but there's Tank already starting to work towards Ents. Now, keep in mind, if Multicircle Gaming completely tunnel vision on Ents, that could open up a chance for other teams. Volleybear is close by, but this would still need a lot of work for Ents to get into this. This is all Tank's job is. Just to put the smokes down, give him some workable terrain, but more importantly, stay there. That Molly's been posted! And it is absolutely oh, perfect. Two down, one to go. Diggory just hoping he can hold on for dear life. Don't step in it. Don't step in it. Everything is fine. Ling Du still on the opposing side. We tank down. Small window of opportunity to try and make something work. Maybe Squeak can get round the back. Maybe you can get inside the shack and get the res. Are they going for a run? They fancy it? They can't run this way, so the vehicles are probably their best chance because of this player. But the MK14, that can just spray in well enough. They've actually made it to a compound. They're not looking terrible. Okay, so it's... Wait, it's got the clear. Well, the north and south divide, right? So multi-circle gaming were focused towards Ents. They put their players in that sort of position, which is fine. They can now regroup. Triumphant are on the other side as well. VP, if they can keep their heads <laughs> down well enough spot. to play third party, that ain't bad. What? How are they that, still looking is... okay here? I don't know. Like, to be able to get not only to into a compound, have an elevated line of sight on the roof oh, and an spotted. AWM. Position noted. Okay, this is where things start to fall apart just a little bit. TSG is still a small concern for me when it comes to the side of VP. While there may only be two of them, Shan's had uh, quite a few eye lines with that Mark, Mark 14, so they have to be careful. Everything slowly will bring this into play. And I did say he's the one man that is a bit of a solo band player. Summer here for the swing again. He's just dispatched Ents previously. They don't. Done. I thought VP might have that cross then. I thought Summer might be in trouble for that, but no. Jan Jan is now going to try and get the nades down, try and do a bit of damage, hold them back, depend a little bit on VP getting involved, but they're having none of it. Summer's still there. The knock did come in, but the res came out as well. Multi-Circle Gaming should have this one in the bag. They are the closest to the center point there is. But it's on these other players to try and do some work from this. Maybe a knock, maybe a kill. If you can frag out, do it. Now, VP used a lot of their smokes to simply get to this compound. And now they face the firing squad of Multi-Circle Gaming. Now, overpeaking may cost you your life. So let's see what Lou can do. It's pretty much on Lou here, in my mind. If he's going to sit there with an orm, he's got to crack open opportunities. O open up angles for Heroism to maybe get across the road. Or you get in the vehicle. I'm not sure if that's the right idea about this one because, as I said, a lot of attention is now going to be thrown at you and that's an easy pick up for Lingdu. That kind of negated that presence of the Orm that he could have maybe opened up with. And it looks like VP are running out of options and Multicircle Gaming getting so much closer to a victory here. This looks comfortable for them. Unable to be threatened. Here is a not finding a way forward and Chan Chan needs now reigning in. I tank is right there as well. The spray is good, but... It'd have to be a clean pickup. It's not. There's a trade instantaneously. And once again, step by step, here is and knows the blue's on his back. Does he give it up to the blue here? Or does he take the window on the way out? It looks like the blue will be the death of him. And there it is. Multi-Circle Gaming with a great victory in a very...